Easy guys. I put my pants on, just like the rest of you, one leg at a time. Except once my pants are on, I make gold record. Hey, what's up, BC, and everybody out there in the YouTubes and all that good stuff. It's been Doctor back again and uh, doing another video trying to get back on my routine of every week so uh, today I'm gonna do something gonna talk about RC Black Friday a little bit gonna show some records you know just some stuff that I picked up over the last couple months some new stuff not the new stuff just some new stuff or some new stuff um, I waited a little bit before I wanted to talk about RSD Black Friday a little bit. Um, got my trusty list here like I always do. And, uh, you know, like I said, I wanted to wait a little bit for everybody else to kind of get out there and do their little thing with the list, watch some videos. And, um, you know, normally I'm really hyped up, excited, want to get a video out there. You know, last Black Friday, my video was called uh, Grower Not a Shower. Um, and this year, I gotta say, that's what I think of the list. You know, it's a little bit smaller than it was last Black Friday. And I gotta say, um, I can normally make chicken salad out of chicken crap. This year, maybe not so much. Now, I, that sounds bad, I know. There's a couple things on the list that I'll probably pick up, but I'll be completely honest with you. It's not a list that I'm gonna go out and camp out like I normally do. Um, I'm not gonna go out probably the night before like I normally do and hang out and do my normal thing. This will probably be a get up in the morning, go out not as early and maybe wait in line and uh, you know, Get what, and get what I want, but not super, super early. Um, there's just, it's stuff that I feel like I can get probably without having to wait a long, long time. There's a few titles on there, maybe two, three tops that I'm kind of interested in. One for sure that I'm definitely interested in, but not like, oh my gosh, I gotta have that. Um, and one reason is because, you know, like there was the Ramones, the greatest sits on there. And normally I would have jumped at that. But guess what? I just picked this up like not even a month ago. I was out at Premium Sound, uh, a place that I go not as often as I used to. But I took chance there last week. Um, and I was going to show this in a video eventually, but I picked this up. This is a phenomenal, great um, two LP set uh, compilation that is actually really hard to find. It came out in 1988 and it's only been reissued, I believe, for <laughs> Record Store Day in 2010. Like I said, look at that set list. Or set list. Look at that track list. Boom! Um, a great, great compilation that I was super excited to find. And so, do I need to go out and and get in line for the greatest hits. I mean, they did, I think they said they did 5,000. And yes, I know it's never been uh, released on vinyl. It came out in 2004 on CD. I have a copy of it. I played the crud out of that CD and I still listen to it today. Um, it's gonna be on red vinyl, I think. Will I still pick up a copy? Eh, maybe if I see it in there. I might just for the heck of it to have a copy of it because I love the cover. Um, it's that iconic circle with the names and everything. Um, but it's not one that I'm like, oh, I gotta have it. Um, because I just picked this up and this has way more songs on it. Uh, super excited to pick this up. This is a, I got it for a steal, I would say. I was surprised that he still had it in the store. I remember he showed it on his Instagram when he got it in like a flip or whatever. I thought for sure it'd be gone. Um, so super excited to have this. Um, it's on that Sire label. Um, I love the cover. It shows all the the the, um, the album covers and some stuff like that. It does not have the inner sleeve though. I'm a little bummed about that. But I picked it up for a good price. Super excited to have it. Um, got so many great songs on this. So 
Um, while I was there as well, I picked up this. Um, and, you know, I knew this album before Stranger Things, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Cause I think everyone knows the song, but I, I would say I'm a casual fan of Kate Bush. Um, but this album has skyrocketed in price since Stranger Things. Ridiculous. Um, normally I've seen this in stores for $40 and up. I've seen it online for ridiculous prices, but he had this at a very decent price. It is not a near mint copy or anything like that, but uh, the cover I would say is VG. Um, it's got some ring wear, it's got some creases here and there, but it's not, you know, tore up or anything like that. Uh, the vinyl, however, definitely VG Plus plays great. It give it a good clean. Um, but I, you know what, I was not familiar with the album per se as much as I was just with that song, of course. Um, and I gotta tell you, I'm very impressed. You know, Kate Bush, she was just inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last year. I'd say she was more inducted out of the popularity thing more than whatever. But I will say, I mean, she's very talented. Um, definitely a different, unique sound um, that synth pop maybe, um, maybe even uh, emo, you could say. Um, you know, early 80s. You, just a very unique sound. Um, yeah. And so this is actually a really good album. I, I was glad I picked it up. And like I said, I did not pick it up anywhere near that 40 to $50 mark. It was priced very well. So I give give credit where credit is due. I, I picked it up for a very good price. So very happy to add that to the collection. Um, I think I picked this up at Lunchbox. And again, for a very good price. This is... Um, Call the West by Wall of Voodoo. Um, you know, I recently picked up that RSD EP of uh, Wall of Voodoo that had uh, um, Ring of Fire on it. This, of course, is their big one that had. Um, um, oh, I'm going to bring that all of a sudden. Mexican Radio. I, I promise I didn't even see the, the track list. I, it just finally came to me. On that IRS label. Um, again, this isn't really a expensive album or anything like that but it is getting i think harder and harder to find a nice clean copy um this is a very clean copy uh picked it up at really good price i think um and this is another one that the prices you can find will differ um you know i've seen it go from 10 to 50 bucks um, I did not pay 50 bucks. I did not pay 10. Well, I paid probably like 12 or 13 bucks. But anyway, this is a great, great album, actually. Um, Wall of Voodoo, that kind of uh, post-punk, um, almost, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh, mechanical machine. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It'll, it'll come to me later, but just a very different sound. Very, very cool. Um, a lot of good stuff on this besides Mexican Radio, but Mexican Radio was the big hit. Um, so very excited to add that to my collection to go along with that EP that I got on Record Store Day. Um, so very, very cool. Um, and then some just some other things that I picked up. Um, about a month or so back, uh, I don't know if you guys saw Dylan's video about uh, a collection he got that he saved from... Uh, like a rainstorm or, or whatever where the records were super clean but the covers were like shot all the crap because they were of the water damage i picked up a couple of uh sweet records and when i say sweet i do mean the band sweet um these records uh the records are basically near mint um we have uh De desolation boulevard on the red capital label and we have um the Suite featuring Little Willie and Blockbuster. This one is on, what label is this? The Bell, the Bell label, that Silver Bell label. Again, near mint records. But the covers were water damaged. They did a good job at making them not terrible though. 
these are like four bucks a piece because of the water damage. Normally these would be like 15 to 20 dollar records in, in the condition that the records are in, but um, to me these are the two best sweet albums there are. Um, you got Fox on the Run, Belt, Ballroom Blitz, you got Little Willie, um, I think Wake Wham Band is on this one too, I think. Anyway, classic, classic. Um, classic classic 70s glam rock i would say before glam rock was a real thing um just some great guitar fun lyrics uh i don't think the suite gets the credit that they deserve um just a great band with classic hooks uh and great guitar just awesome awesome stuff and lastly, uh, I picked up this at No, not Noble, um, Hardy Boys. This is a Elvis Costello Best Of album I've never seen before. And I am a casual Elvis Costello fan, um, trying to get more into his stuff. And I figured what better way than a Best Of. This is on the Columbia label. Um, I think for me, this is probably all I'm really gonna need of his anyway. Um, and so I figure what's best besides a, a best of, and it's got my favorite, the, um, it's got a house and just love the, the way he sings that song. Um, uh, just, I don't know, there's just something about it. And that's not easy for me to say, considering that I have an ex named Allison. We won't get into that, um, but I just never seen this before. Um, and uh, this was a really good price. The cover's not in the greatest condition. I'd say it's a VG strong. The record's definitely a VG plus, um, but I just never seen this before. And surprisingly enough, there's a lot of songs on this. Um, for just a one LP, I was very surprised to see there was like 15 songs on this one record, I think. Um, so yeah, um, but anyway, uh, like I said, just a great introduction to Elvis Costello, uh, who I think is actually a really talented songwriter, uh, great musician, still out there playing today, I know. Um, I actually had some friends go see him a couple months ago, I want to say it was. So, but picked that up. Like I said, it was a good price. Couldn't pass that up. So maybe it'll get any more into Elvis Costello. So anyway, that's what I got for you today, guys. Like I said, record store day, I don't know if it's really worth it this year for Black Friday, but I mean, I'm definitely gonna pick some things up. And you know, it's a very eclectic list, I would say. They've definitely done a better job with that. And you know, more power to everybody that's gonna go out there and do their thing. I will say this, go and support your local record stores on Black Friday because you know, they're doing this for us to go out and to get records. We should support that. Um, but the list, yeah, it was very lackluster. I will say that. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, I'm sure there's others out there that don't feel that way. And hey, great for you, great. Um, but anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, guys, leave me that thumbs up. Uh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you would as well. I, I'd appreciate it. And leave me some comments. Let me know what you think of the Record Store Day list. Uh, and let me know what you think of the records I showed today as well. Uh, and uh, hope to uh, get you guys down the road. Bye.